Three things for being the perfect party guest. Bring a snack, bring your favorite beverage, and most of all, don't forget to bring your micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's video is also sponsored by Nature Box. I picked up a couple of really gorgeous boards for this project. I've got a walnut board and a cherry board. To join these two pieces together to make a single panel, I need to square up the edges. I'll use my homemade edge jointing jig for that. The unjointed edges have a gap between them. Compared to the two edges that I jointed, they're almost seamless. And that'll make a really strong bond between these boards when I glue them together. If the boards are bowing, you probably clamp them too tight. I put packing tape on these two boards so that they won't stick to the glue. These will also help flatten out the boards. I can also glue up these three cherry boards to turn on the lathe. And after a little bit of sanding to smooth this out, I'm ready to attach my cutting template using spray adhesive. Before I make any cuts, I'm gonna mark the centers of each of these circles. To cut out these three big holes, I've got a large hole saw I'll use on my drill press. Since it's such a large hole, I'm using a real low speed on my drill. When you use a hole saw, that cutout circle gets trapped in there. So you gotta take this off, and this part pulls up, and this part unscrews. Then once you get that out, you can pop this out with a screwdriver. I'll cut out the outer shape using my fan saw. I'll sand it down to the lines using my disc sander and my spindle sander. I'll use my router to round over all the edges. I'm gonna round over one of those cutouts too. And back over here at my drill press, I could drill a larger hole for this tenon to fit into. These two stop blocks should help keep the bit centered. Finding the center and drilling a hole in this piece will be easy since I already poked that little hole in the middle earlier. I'll glue this up starting with the base. And I'll finish this with spray lacquer. These holes are just the right size to hold these glass custard bowls. But what I'm really excited about are these fantastic bamboo bowls I found. Now all I need to do is fill these up with snacks, and this is a good opportunity to talk to you for a moment about the sponsor of this week's episode, NatureBox. NatureBox is a subscription service that'll send you out nutritious and delicious snacks every month. There's over 100 different snacks to choose from. I picked a variety of sweet flavored snacks as well as spicy. Those sriracha roasted cashews, 
to die for. One of the best things about Nature Box snacks is that they're all natural. There's no high fructose corn syrup, there's no artificial flavors or colorings. Another thing that makes Nature Box a cool company is that for every box they send out, they're donating a meal to Feeding America. They promised to donate over a million meals this year. I got the peanut butter nom noms for Wyatt, but I gotta try them out. Nom nom nom. So here's how the service works. Every month they'll send you out a box with five different snacks. You can either pick them out yourself or you can have them send you a surprise box. If there's something you try out and you don't like, just tell Nature Box and they'll send you out something different, free. But here's the absolute best part. Nature Box wants to send viewers of Woodworking for Mere Mortals a free tasting box just by clicking the special link down in the description. Using that link tells Nature Box that you heard about them from Woodworking for Mere Mortals and and it helps support the show. Please browse through their huge variety of snacks and take advantage of the free snack box offer. And I'd like to thank Nature Box for sponsoring this week's episode. I think that turned out totally cool. I love the look of walnut and cherry together. Hey, it's been a while since I've done an auction for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and I'd like to auction off this piece. If you'd like to own it yourself, I've put a link down in the description where you can place a bid. I'll also include the three orange bowls and I'll throw in the three little glass bowls too. And as always, 100% of your winning bid goes to support the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And if you'd like to make one of these unique snack trays yourself, check below for a free set of plans, including the cutting template you'll need. And if you don't have a lathe, you could just use a dowel for this centerpiece, or even an old table leg or something might be a good idea. And you could cut everything out using a jigsaw if you don't have a bandsaw. I'd like to thank all of you for choosing to spend a small portion of your day with me here at Woodworking for mere mortals. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do so now so you won't miss a video. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next week. My original thought was to join the corners together with 45 degree miter. Then I can just plane it flush to the board. It'll work out really nicely in our living room. You may have to modify it a little bit depending on the size of your couch and how much space you have below it and how far back you want the table to go.